When refinishing an old dresser, it's important to pay special attention to the drawers. This particular dresser had sat in an empty house for a long time and it had some funky smells. So before I even started working on it, I removed the old contact paper from the drawers, filled them with baking soda, and let them sit out in the heat for a couple months. That really works to get a lot of the odors out. After cleaning with soap and water and vacuuming out the baking soda, I am now using Simple Green to get any of the remaining dust, grime, every little thing out of the drawers before I go ahead and line them with peel and stick wallpaper. You wanna measure um, both the length of the drawer and you wanna make sure you measure the width of the drawer at the widest part if it has these beautiful curved fronts like this one does. I like to purchase um, peel and stick wallpaper off of Amazon that has the grid on the back of it. That makes it super easy to measure and cut straight lines. And of course, always measure twice before you cut. I've learned my lesson um, the hard way with that one. Once I have the paper cut, I'm going to start by um, applying it to the flat edge of the back of the drawer. What I like to do is I peel away maybe three to four inches of the paper backing. Um, I give it a little bit of a crease to help keep it from um, folding back in on itself. And then I will align this to the back of the drawer and the two sides. I only remove a little bit of the paper backing so that if I don't get it perfect the first time, it's really easy to lift and replace it. This also helps keep the wallpaper from sticking to itself. Um, as you can see, I, it takes me a couple tries to get this exactly where I want it to be, especially in that far corner. Um, I had to adjust it a time or two. Once I've got it in and I feel like it is straight and in place, then I will go ahead and remove more of the paper backing and start pressing it into the drawer. When applying this, I use my hands to start with. If um, there's any remaining air bubbles, you can always go over it with a plastic smoothing tool that you can pick up at any craft store or purchase off of Amazon. So here you can see, once again, I work from the middle, smoothing it, and then go towards the two sides, pushing the air bubbles out as I go. This particular wallpaper, um, I can put the brand name in the comments, is um, a really lovely eucalyptus leaf and it has shades of light blue and light green that I found work really well with both modern furniture and antique furniture. Okay, now I've turned it around and I have pressed the wallpaper all the way to the widest point of the curve. Once I have it pressed against that curve, I get this little crafting knife and I'm gonna cut very carefully right where the bottom and the side of the drawer meet. I wanna do just the curved part for now. Once I've got a nice straight cut, I like to get a pair of scissors and remove the extra wallpaper. I find that that makes it a lot easier to finish working with the two curves on each side. So get that out of the way, smooth everything down. And now I'm gonna curve the paper um, against the edge that curves in, repeating the process with my knife. Once it starts to curve out, I'm gonna stop, push it all the way into that corner, and then go ahead and use the knife to remove from the corner to the edge of the curve again. And there you go. You just have to be slow and patient, but lining curved drawers can be really easy if you use this process. Another little trick is I like to use um, bath soap and I put that along the runners um, when these antique dressers have these wooden runners, applying a little bath soap, or you could use a wax product on both the drawer and the dresser, helps the drawers open and close smoothly. I then finish it off by applying a furniture polish. Um, this is a wax that I like to use. Put this on the exposed parts of the inside drawer, and here we go. It opens and closes beautifully and looks fantastic. I think someone is going to love this dresser. If you want to see more of this transformation, follow me and I'll show you how I took this from trash to treasure.